Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different You must be made for me Hey my baby dolls, quickly before I start this new vlog, I want to show you guys this gorgeous unit by Gorgeous Hair. <laughs> this is their 4x4 lace bohemian style wig. The length of this hair is 24 inches long and this lace is 4x4. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the whole installment this is a quick install very quick and easy hope you guys enjoy hey my baby dolls so today um as you guys saw by the title in the intro um what this video consists of today and i'm very excited because this is a very beautiful unit this is going to be a quick installation not long video at, at all so um which is great because we all love a quick install with hair right so this is the unit here which i showed you guys in the beginning of the video it's gorgeous first um before installing the unit quickly i do want to share with you guys what i received in my package love the packaging love the dust bag that it comes with so different than all of the rest of the dust bags that i usually get very great quality like just look at the packaging i love goodies in the bag so i received this which i can definitely keep um, and travel with i have a band just in case i want to add this to the wig i have some bobby pins here and i also have some clips okay we all need hair clips a baby hair comb which we all need for our hair and we definitely need some tweezers to pluck the hair so i never received tweezers with my wig any of my hair before so i love this definitely different and everything about this is just so like it gives very much high quality which i love i love great packaging and it's just overall really nice also received the wig cap which i already have on two scarves i love my scarves so thank you so much for these beautiful scarves yeah both are really really gorgeous so thank you so much for the goodies and also a pair of some pretty earrings like thank you and this is the unit so i'm going to quickly install you guys so you don't have to worry about gluing all around your hairline which takes up most of your time this is just a four by four room of lace as you can see like about here to here that's only the amount of room of space that you do have look at that it's really nice so i don't have to do much plucking um but i am of course going to put a little bit of foundation in the wig and i'm going to just use my spray and the wig is naturally flat like look how flat this hair is already so i end up taking the wig off to cut the lace um off and as you guys can see it's pretty much laying down without any glue really really good um and i'm just right here adjusting it and I just wanted to say that because I didn't say it in the video. Like, I hardly have to glue it down because look, it's already laying. So I just want y'all to see that. Like, it's already laying flat. Like, I hardly need to put anything down, to be honest. But just for my liking, I'm going to go in and just pluck a little bit. But so far, like, the hair looks so... Look, the hair is just gorgeous. <laughs> It's a real, some really, really pretty hair. Uh, so I'm done plucking. Like, look at this hair. I haven't even glued it on. This is not me. I have not glued it on, y'all. Like, look, this is not glued on at all. Like, I don't even think I need to. It's like, it's not going nowhere either, as you guys can see. Where is it going? Nowhere. Nowhere. And this is 24 inches long. And it's just so beautiful. The curls are gorgeous. I have not done anything to this hair like wow like thumbnail <sighs> amazing amazing <laughs> um minimum shedding there's literally no shedding I can run my hands through this hair no problem at all it's so soft so luscious great amazing quality 10 10 like 
it broke the scale for me honestly like love it i'm going to turn to the back so you guys can see how it looks in the back but overall really pretty hair y'all tell me what you guys think I also wanted to share with you guys how it looks with this beautiful scarf that they gave me. Um, it's giving the bohemian style. So you can style this hair up in multiple different ways. You guys know I love my head scarves. I love to style my wigs or hair, whatever you want to call it, with my scarves or hats. And this hair is so beautiful. It's definitely given vacation ready. So yes, love, love, love. I just want to share with you guys how um this hair looks with scars is really really cute i will definitely go down below and click the link and purchase this wig it um if i do have a discount code it will be linked down below too the direct link to this hair will be listed yeah it's a gorgeous unit i didn't even glue it down it's not even a glue down wig like y'all know how long i've been waiting for a wig that i don't have to glue this is literally glueless if you want to glue it, you can, but if you don't have to, it's beautiful. So, I love you guys. Let me know what you think about the hair. Definitely will purchase. Um, yeah, great company, great brand. Love the hair. Good quality. Um, <laughs> that's it. Hey, my baby dolls. Welcome back to another video. So, in the beginning of this vlog, you guys, I am going to show you guys this exhibit I went to. It was the Bob Marley exhibit. Really, really cool event. Getting invited to this was a very dope experience. Um, I didn't know too much about Bob Marley. Of course, I heard some of his music along the way. But it was very cool just to see his culture. Just all around his background, how he was, you know, grew up and things like that. So this uh, exhibit basically was kind of like a museum, as you can say. Um, and it basically showed his history and everything that you need to know about him as an artist, as a person. And it was just a very cool experience. And I'm so glad that I went. They had refreshments. Um, they had champagne and like little things like that for us. I tried my best to get as much content as I could. Um, I didn't bring my camera. I am vlogging here on my um, phone. And you guys, I looked at so freaking cute. I had a Bob Marley shirt that I had already purchased. And it was perfect for this event. I didn't wear it. And I finally had an opportunity to wear it. It was so dope. It was so cool. If you um, follow me on Instagram, you pretty much seen like a little content when I was at the event. So that's why y'all gotta follow me on the gram, okay? Follow me on the gram because y'all, y'all, if you know, you know, basically. <laughs> but I looked at so freaking cute. Truth. Wish we never did it, cause I usually do Stick to the business, but you came out the blue And then you just flipped out God damn, baby, my mind's blown Be forgetting you live in a different time zone Think I know what this is, it's just the time's wrong Yeah, I know what you did, but baby, I'm grown And my love is patient and kind of shit and then, you guys, I got invited to the VIP, which was like the after party, you can say. It was super dope. This was nice as well, um, where um, a couple artists decided to perform. Skip Marley um, actually performed, which is Bob Marley's grandson, I believe. I think I'm correct. <laughs> I learned a lot in this whole experience but it was really nice i ended up meeting faith evans she was at this event i didn't get any content of her in there but i met faith evans she actually actually i'm sorry looks really really good in person y'all like wish i would have got that in it was kind of like she came and left which i thought i was gonna get her in the video but i didn't and i didn't want to be one of those type of like supporters or fans if you if you want to call it to like take out the camera or put the camera in someone's face you know i just enjoyed that moment good morning you guys um at first i was gonna cook me some breakfast because it's still morning it is currently 10 29 and i'm like i'm gonna be some grits and bacon but i had a huge brunch yesterday so i'm like with some mimosas so i'm like i'm gonna keep it light and this morning i'm gonna just create me a salad because like i told y'all we about to go into the new month tomorrow is february 1st so it's like january was like my little play 
you know, my little trial and error. February 1st, I'm really trying to be committed to getting back into the gym. Um, and just taking advantage of my gym downstairs. Like, you know, like, child, these apartments be charging us an arm and a fucking leg. So, very much take take advantage of your shit. So, I just uh, prepped my veggies for my chicken salad. So, my chicken is ready. Um, I just got to cooking that. And... I'm about to put it on this beautiful plate. Y'all, look at this plate I bought. I bought a couple of these. That's just so big and pretty. Um, just so nice, right? Like, I love a big plate because I can fit everything I want on the plate, bitch. Like, y'all, I just love to eat, bitch. Okay? Like, that's just what it is. <laughs> y'all, in that last video, all I was doing was eating. But we're going to keep it cute. We're going to keep it cute. Okay, so I'm about to prepare my salad. I'm going to show y'all what I did. The other day, I ended up putting pickle and jalapeno in my salad. Now, my... First time I put a jalapeno too much, but pickle, yes. And I'm like, I'm gonna try to put some pickles in it because y'all know I love these pickles. But I did that, and y'all, it's so good. I diced up the pickles so they're not like the sliced pickles. I diced them up because I didn't want to look like I'm eating a hamburger salad. So I diced up the pickles and I diced up the jalapenos. I'm looking at it, y'all, but diced up the jalapenos, diced up the pickles. Got my lettuce, got my tomato and onion, and I love to do my shredded cheese on my salad. This is okay. It's not too bad. Y'all not trying to lose weight. I'm just trying to eat a little bit more healthier and put in more fruits and veggies in my body. So, gotta have the ranch dressing. Okay. Buttermilk. Yeah. Hidden Valley, the best, the best one. And I like to put some vinaigrette. Like, I like some vinaigrette with my dressing i got the garlic vinaigrette and i got this balsamic vinaigrette so i'm gonna do a little bit you don't need too much i'm gonna do a little bit of this and with my ranch and um i did have some caesar dressing but i haven't really been in the mood for like a caesar type of salad but we're gonna dress up our plate period okay one one two one two so Get into the chicken. Season to perfection. Period. Y'all see? Just make it to your liking. And I'm about to add the cheese on top. Okay. This is beautiful. I'm fighting it. I like a lot of ranch. Well, a lot of dressing, period. I don't know about y'all, but I do. So I gotta make sure you put whatever, how much you want. Don't need too much of the vinaigrette. And voila, we got us a, oh, I love avocado on my salad too. I'm thinking about all the veggies, but I like a lot of veggies on my salad. That's what makes it really good. Mm-hmm. 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 Because one thing about it, I'm going to eat good, regardless if it's healthy or not. There's a lot of noise going on outside, y'all. So if y'all hear that, sorry. Hey y'all, so it's a new day, another day. As y'all can see, I did my hair. It, it, let me take it off. Let me take my, I got my camera charging y'all. It's connected. I did my hair. It looked like I went to my beautician. Y'all know she's in Chicago, so she couldn't do my hair. One day I woke up. I'm like, I want to go back short. I want to wear my real hair. I need a break. And look, 
I did it myself and I'm so happy. It looks like she did it a little bit. Not exactly like how she do it because she really be smoking my hair out. But I feel like I did a pretty damn damn near good job me doing it myself. Um, so I feel good about it. I look good. I feel good. And I just needed to wear my natural hair to feel my scalp. You know, like I wear so many wigs. I change up so often, so many times a week, a day. And I'm like, I need to like just wear my real hair and i'm so happy about it it looks so freaking good let me know how y'all think what y'all think i love it and i missed it so we're back short we're back to our roots you know what i'm saying so um today is pretty productive it's a good day i feel good i'm about to go to the nail shop now to get my nails done and my toes done and yeah y'all that's the little gist of the day while i'm on my way to the nail shop i'll be figuring out exactly how i want my nails to be I'm thinking something that looks like Valentine's Day, you know. Um, maybe of course the last that I had was green, and then it was, and then after, before that it was pink. So maybe red. I haven't had red nails. I love me some long red nails, y'all. So maybe we should do red with like maybe a, a design or something, something cute. I, I kind of been into like just the solid colors. I haven't been really into any designs lately, and y'all know. Y'all know I used to really be going crazy with the with the designs. Okay, first, I, you know, I always do a fit check before I leave the house. So, I'm wearing these shades. I haven't worn these shades with my short hair. And I'm just ah, obsessed, y'all. It looks so good. So, I'm wearing these shades. Um, jewelry. My crystals. Um, bracelets. Um, my crystal necklace. Citrine that I got from my mentor, Jew, that I always talk about. I'll leave her. Um link tree down below so you guys can have all her links and i have one of her crystals on she does have bracelets bracelets too and i also got the rest of them from house of intuition um i vlogged that so you guys pretty much know where i got the rest if you don't now you know but yeah and then i have on this whole like little white bodysuit very comfortable you know you love to be comfortable going to get your hands and feet done and spy spy as you guys can see my baby and i have my uggs on aren't these the cutest uggs okay the cutest it's one of my christmas gifts real cute uggs i love them they're i love platforms as y'all some of you guys know but they're just so comfy and cute black on bag it's called homage hopefully i'm pronouncing it right but i have it in another color too in orange which is my favorite color but so cute jean jacket got the fringes on it y'all have seen these this jacket before y'all have seen this jacket before but that's the vibe y'all i feel good today today is a great day okay a great day great day i think it's the hair for me honey like i didn't get my hair it's the hair <laughs> it's the hair <laughs> I just feel so good. Fit check again. Comfy and cute. All right, y'all. I made it. We're right here. And I like the other camera because, like, in dim light and dark light, it automatically lightens up. And this camera just don't do it. But it's okay. Like right here, my other camera, like right here now. Okay, now it's like that. But it's just, it's just different. I don't know. Hi. Good. How are you? You have? Thank you. Yeah, we are. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so pretty. Oh my goodness. Isn't it so nice? So it's like pretty. the perfect bright red. Hey y'all, so it is the next day from me getting my nails done. These days have been flying and I feel like I've been, not all over the place, but I feel like I've been like 
moving around a lot as y'all can see i threw on a wig it's not glued down that's why i got the scarf on top of it but um my hair wasn't looking right so one thing about short hair you gotta like really know how to maintain it too because you always gotta fix it when you wake up so um and I had threw on some clothes because I was about to take the spider to the groomers. But something ended up happening, so I rescheduled for a different day. I got a package from my from my mother. This is like, and my sister, this was their Christmas gift. I wasn't, I didn't go back home for Christmas. So I'm about to open up what they got me. I don't know what it is. So let's see. I'm going to open it up with you guys. On camera. Period. Reopen, reopen, reopen. Oh, I knew it. 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 Period. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Period. Ew. Period. Period. Yeah, I knew it. And I love these Uggs. Oh my goodness. Y'all look at these Uggs. I gotta call my mom and let her know. Thank you. Uh -huh, period. She know I like me some comfy slides. One thing about it, I'm gonna wear my, oh these are so comfortable. And I got these too. Oh my goodness. They're so comfortable y'all. I love me some platforms. She know me. She know me real well, okay? Hold on. This just made my day. Hold on. I have to put these on too. Oh, they so comfortable. Is these, these a little big. Ain't that cute? Yes. And it's crazy because I got some other Uggs too. And I got some Uggs, which is a Christmas gift from my little boo. I think y'all saw those. I don't know if y'all have. Oh, yes, how y'all did because I showed y'all in this vlog. I think y'all showed y'all in this vlog. But look. So cute. These are the black ones. Ah, period. Love. You know, I needed some black, some black, some new black slides. And these are perfect because like, yeah. I need some all black ones. This is the purse that goes with the jacket. We saw this when I was back in Chicago. And I wanted it. But I didn't get it, so she got it for me. And it goes with this jacket. Period. Yes. 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 This jacket go hard. This jacket is hard. No lie. Like, can't tell me this jacket don't go crazy. Yeah, it's so me. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Okay, hold on. Like, do y'all see the detailings in this? Bomb as fuck. So I cannot wait to do a look in this. And then the purse, of course, that goes with it. The silver. I needed another silver silver bag. Period. Periana. And it comes with the straps. Let me call my mama. I'm call y'all back. I mean, call y'all back. I'm going to talk to y'all in a minute. <laughs> oh my God. The struggle will be so real, y'all. Uh, this is so annoying. All right. The best way I can do. So I am basically wrapping my hair, and this is kind of pretty much how I do it before I style it. So I washed my hair already, y'all. Well, y'all didn't see that. Y'all didn't see the process. I didn't want to record because I was really into it. I haven't done this in a while, so I didn't want to record. I wanted my focus to be on my hair, and that's it. It'd be a lot when I'm filming. I have to switch the camera, move the camera, adjust the camera. So I didn't want to be bothered with that. But I parted my hair, y'all. Um, y'all already knew my hair was already cut. So the only thing that I did was cut it some more. I did cut it some more and layer it some more. It was way more than I had to do. 
to my hair um you know so everything can be even and can lay down right so i did go in and really cut my hair um a lot of my hair because of my hair had grew a lot since then which i should have showed that too i at least should have showed that like my growth but um i did go in and cut it and i'm shocked that i styled it the way that i did like how y'all seen it right now it's not adjusted but i'm so happy with what i've done um it looked like i came from a beautician i did it myself so yeah i mean i'm happy about that so right now i am laying it down with this mousse this is really some good mousse i usually like the bb mousse never tried this but this is all on youtube all hairstylists use it so i'm like let me go ahead and get it because clearly it gotta be good so i got it first time using it real good i'm molding my hair um with it and then i'm gonna put this wrap strip on it so this kind of pretty much helps uh my hair to basically lay down flat and then when it's time for me to curl my hair i use these little bitty curl well not curlers these are flat irons i use these little bitty ones right here you can get these from like your local beauty supply store um and they get really really hot so this is what i've been using since i got my did my hair short and it just gets into the areas that i need so basically the mousse pretty much um makes the hair soft which is already soft from the perm but it actually helps it to like i don't know like it helps to wrap the hair or whatever um and i use these papers right here didn't know they had black i usually use the white ones so i grabbed these and i did rinse my hair jet black too so that you know i, I like my hair jet black when i'm doing my short hair my hair got a little bit of holding spray in it from me spraying it down <laughs> from me spraying it down so hopefully this don't turn hard and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically I'm just maneuvering my hair the way I want it to be once it's time for me to lay it down my sideburns grew longer since then because I remember the last time I did get my hair done she cut my sideburns very very short and I don't like that I like a long sideburn so my sideburns had grew back um yeah, my hair grew a lot. Hair grew a lot, but I, like I say, I, I cut it. I cut a lot of it. I had to to get the style that I wanted. But I'm just really just um, molding it how I want it to be. So yeah, I rinsed my hair jet black first. I I rinsed it first. No, I did my perm first. Then I rinsed it. Um. So hopefully I'll get to share that with y'all. Now that I know I can do my own hair, like from start to finish, now I can like do a, a video on it because y'all have been asking for me to do a video um, on me showing like how I do it. But I never was doing it myself. Like the perm and everything, I never did that myself. But when I got my hair did, I did have to maintain it. So I was curling it, recurling it, and things like that. Like, I know how to maintain it after my stylist do my hair. But she, I can do it myself. So, for real, for real now. So, that's a plus. Anytime I want to take off my wig, baby, this is, this is what it's, this is it's going to be. Oh, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? This is why I didn't want to be bothered with. It's like a lot going on on my countertop. And it's very slippery. Like my tripod be slipping. Because the counter is slippery. And I need to get a new uh, tripod too. Because this camera is heavy. And I don't think this tripod is holding up the weight like it needs to. So I need to get a sturdier uh tripod for sure that's need to be my next purchase on amazon and then i just ordered some i just ordered some on amazon i should have did that when i made my order but yeah y'all this is the vibe this is the vibe right now put this on and These ain't long enough. I like the ones I had before. They was really long. These ain't long. Uh-oh. 
I want to try to do some lash extensions. I'm about to show y'all what I'm talking about. Because what the fuck? I'm going to just put this clip right there, child. Because who the fuck got time to be struggling trying to tie that up? Okay, I'm about to grab the blow dry. And I'm just going to blow dry around for a couple seconds. And then let it dry the rest on its own. Because, yeah. Bitch. I swear, the phones, I feel like phones be listening. I don't know who be listening in. I, because y'all know how you could be talking about something then you be on Instagram and you see it. Or TikTok or whatever, you see it. That's weird to me. Because I was just talking about my perm. And I see a video of somebody perming their hair. Her hair is coming out on TikTok. Is this a joke? Is this a joke? Is it a joke? No, bitch. Your hair is coming the fuck out. See? Mm -mm. Alright, so. <laughs> I don't mean to call her a bitch. I'm just saying, like, girl, you fuck it up. But I'm about to um, use this blow dryer. I'm going to just blow dry it around. I'm going to um, get that blow dryer where it's like a bag. It, it looks like a bag. But if you basically just put it on your head and it just... You can just sit there and just let it do what it do. Okay, so we're going to leave this where is it all night. I'm not touching it until the morning. And then I'll figure out how I'm going to do my hair. Um, then I'll style it in the morning. But I'm about to wash my face, y'all. I just bought this from Target. I'm not even going to pronounce it because I feel like I'm going to say it wrong. Um, but this right here, I've been wanting to try this for a while. And actually, I'm liking it so far. I've been wanting to try the moisturizer. But the moisturizer was giving... Like it was for oily skin type, so I didn't get grab it. So I'm trying to find the one that's not for oily skin because I'm not oily skin. I have normal to combination skin. So love it though. It's really, really, really good, y'all. This is some good shit. It, for the price of it, it better be. But uh, y'all know I like to take care of my skin. And yeah, this is for normal to, to oily skin. This is purifying foaming cleanser this is real surreal good shit like my face doesn't feel like it's burning or it's irritable when i use it i'm actually about to wash my face now do my skincare real quick and i'm gonna come back and i'm about to try to do some lashes y'all and i'm gonna show y'all the lashes that i got so yeah hey nothing like some nice cold water god I thank you for this water oh it's so refreshing what would we do without it oh okay so these are the lashes y'all so these are the lashes so I am on kiss PR list and these are the lashes here lash contour lash mapping kit 3D 3D DIY faux extensions. What are you eating? Oh, having a dog be so much, y'all. Sometimes. Okay. These are lashes. Right. I feel like I low key be having ADHD sometimes because I start doing one thing and I start doing something else. Like my mind sometimes be like telling me to do 50 things all at one time and then like right now I'm sitting here I'm thinking about doing something else like it's just so like I just I don't know so this is the kit we got the lashes in different lengths oh well different yeah blends we got pointy 12 mm 14 mm 16 mm um and then we got the classic 12 mm and 14 mm so we have the lash adhesive and then the lash semi-permanent. Well, what's the difference? Oh, one is in white uh, glue and one is in black glue. So I'll probably be using the black glue. I don't play with white glue. So we got the tweezer, um, the spoolie, 
splotch. I think that's a spoolie. That's what you call it. And then we have this one right here in the middle. I forgot. I don't know what that's called. We're going to figure it out. And then up here is where you put the glue. It says glue pocket. This is where you put the glue. So glue pocket. And then I'm going to read the back. So basically the back basically show you how to layer the lashes. Um in each lash size or number or whatever but y'all know i do what i want to do so i'm gonna read it though to see what it say so i guess it's supposed to help you but i basically kind of like like to layer it how i feel like i want to layer it this is it's called lash mapping sticker is where i will put under my lash so I got the plain ones to put under it, I guess, to cover it. Hopefully this glue don't burn. That's the only thing I'm kind of worried about. Is it burning? Is this way? Okay, y'all, bear with me. I don't I don't feel like I need it and I'm not about to play with it either so I know you're supposed to put the extensions like underneath the lashes and I, that's the hard part for me um that's I think the hard part oh getting it everywhere so it says starting from the inner corner of your eye Follow the guidelines. Well, I'm not following the guideline. Dip the band potion into like I'm gonna start off with the shortest. Um shortest one. Like, should I go under it? Yeah, I'm scared. I never done that before and I feel like that's gonna be difficult. Do I put on that glue? Okay. Y'all see it? Yeah, I see it. So, we gotta keep building. I got faith in myself. I'm gonna grab the same length. One more of those. And then I'm gonna get longer on the end. So, shorter here and of course longer going out. Okay, we getting somewhere y'all y'all see it i'm gonna keep building hopefully these enough lashes hey trips that you plan for the next whole week been too long for me so cheap and your flex so deep sex so deep you got it girl you got it hey Okay, so surprisingly, y'all, these lashes aren't burning. The glue isn't burning, which is real good. The last time I tried doing this, um, actually, the lashes, the glue was burning. I think that was Ardell kit. It was an Ardell kit. And baby, <laughs> burning. I, like, I don't feel it at all. So right now, I'm trying to stack them. I'm trying to stack them, and I think this is kind of like the hardest, is trying to like, stack is the hardest. Hey, my 
my baby dolls. So, update before I close out today's video. Because I'm about to upload this today. I feel like I've been holding on to this vlog. And I've just been vlogging and vlogging and not really giving y'all the content. So, I took out them lashes. I took them bitches off, baby. I was going through it early this morning my sinus if I sound stuffy that's because y'all I have really bad sinuses they give me headaches they make me feel like I'm I have a cold when I don't it makes me feel like I have wow. spiders playing with her toy if y'all wondering what's going on um it just makes me feel like I'm coming down with something all the time just very congested so I woke up at like 1 o'clock this morning and have not been, well, I've been to sleep. I went to sleep at 6. Was up to, I was up, I woke up at 1, went to sleep at like 6, got back up at 8. Exhausted. I had ended up Instacarting this sinus relief thing to like, for pressure in your nose. So basically, uh, it's like a, um, I feel like that shit didn't even work for me. I probably need to go to the, to the, the hospital <laughs> um, but my nose do feel a little bit more relieved than it did uh, last night yeah I was really going through it I could not breathe um, I kept sneezing non-stop literally so it was really the freaking worst I'm gonna show y'all yeah it's called sinus rinse so it's this is what it looks like let me show y'all what it looks like it looks like that. So it's a sinus relief. It comes with the bottle, um, the packets, or whatever. It's for nasal symptoms from flu and cold, nasal congestion, and nasal nasal allergies. So basically, it relieves um, everything that is congested in your nose. Y'all, I should have recorded that, but I was just so fucked up, and. Okay, I got a package downstairs. I got to go right back downstairs. I just left from downstairs. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm so congested. I am not feeling this at all. Like, I just do not like the way this feels. Um, but I don't like the way this feels. I feel a, a lot better, though, than earlier. So I, I can give myself that. I do feel a little bit better. But, um... I'm about to take Spider to her groomer's appointment. I may not go because I don't feel like being in nobody's car. Like, that's why I cannot wait to get my vehicle because, like, when I'm not feeling well, at least I can feel good enough to be in my own car. I feel like if I don't feel well and I'm getting the Uber, it just makes me feel ten times more sicker, like, if that makes sense, because I'm in someone else's, like, car. I'm in someone else's, you know what I'm saying? I just... Mm. And y'all already know how germs can spread being in somebody's car or just whatever the case may be. So, that's the gist of my day right now. Took the lashes off because, y'all, them lashes, I tried it. I, I, I think I stayed it on for like three days, tops. But, they are kind of annoying. I'm not used to extensions or whatever, lash individuals, whatever you want to call it. I'm not into that. Um, I have really bad allergies and sinus, as I just told y'all. And I'm always rubbing my eyes. My eyes is always watery. And it's just... Not even just that. But I think because... It just feels like somebody's poking. Like something is poking in between my eyes. Maybe because I did it wrong. I, of course, I probably am not a pro at it. But they did look good. I did... Put them on well. I just think that because one, I probably didn't put it on right. I didn't probably layer it on right on my lashes, so that probably made the irritation. But it just felt like somebody was constantly poking me in my eye, like, and I didn't like the feeling at all. It just felt very irritable, and I was already irritable when I woke up from my congestion. I got my oil and my eye remover eye makeup remover and I just rubbed it all on and I took those holes off okay yeah I probably won't be doing that again <laughs> um, I love to be able to take my lashes off and be able to feel my eyes and feel free so 
yeah, I would still like to get the experience of mink lashes, like getting them, getting them done from from a professional, of course, because the ones I got, those are not really, um, those were stacked individuals. So of course they're c completely different than the mat, the mink lashes extensions. But um, one day, of course, I'll get the experience of the actual mink extensions from the looks of it i probably i'm probably not gonna like it because i like to take my lashes off and really feel my face um also i just got this wig on y'all it's not glued on my short hair is not done so i'll probably fix it up later on today when i get better i'm just resting today y'all and getting my health in line in shape because you know your health is very very much important i did some grocery shopping earlier of course, Instacart. I did not go to the grocery store. Did not feel like being around nobody. So I got some groceries shipped to me. Um, yeah. So today is just uh, restoring myself. And I sound terrible. So I'm about to get my life together. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was pretty lengthy and uh, productive, I would say. Let me know how you guys are enjoying the vlogs. Um, someone has said, hold on, because I screenshotted it. I wasn't going to say anything. I was not going to say nothing. I wasn't going to say nothing. But I'm going to share what it said. I think I screenshotted it. Where is that? Someone said, really not liking the algorithm. You've been so consistent and you slaying per usual. Where's the likes? Where's the comments? Where's the views? This camera is so damn heavy. Okay, so I'm going to make it very short and simple. I'm going to reread what she said. Really not liking the algorithm. You've been so consistent and you slaying per usual. Where's the likes? Where's the comments? Where's the views? So, Tiffany Woods, girl, it's like I want to speak on this, but at the same time I don't because I do feel like I still get my views. I do feel like my algorithm it's good um i get my likes and i i've very been i've definitely been consistent girl and thank you um because i've been slaying <laughs> per usual thank you for that and one thing i would say about my algorithm on youtube i definitely have seen the changes and i've talked about this i didn't i didn't necessarily say i don't get views because i do get my views but i have talked about how youtube well, specifically mine, not just in general YouTube. But I feel like so much has changed in my life. And so much has transitioned and still transitioning and still changing. So the more I change, the more the content and things are going to change too as well. Because as, you, as I always say, like, I share my life. I vlog. As me as a person... I'm growing so things around me are going to be different so it's like I'm still doll face I'm still lyric doll face lyric I'm still going to share what I've always been sharing it's just going to it's just going to transform into different ways because the more I grow the more things are that's what that's what comes with change you know what I'm saying so I do feel like my algorithm is okay, but I do feel like my views sometimes changes. And I always thank the ones that's still here, the ones that's still, um, as you could say, supporting me, um, that has been here from the start. And if some people have left, let them leave. You know what I mean? Um, I do feel like some people... I do feel like sometimes I don't get the credit that I should and I do feel like I'm on a high pedestal I, I, I am on a high pedestal I am on that high horse I, I know my growth I know how far I've come so I don't see myself in a low place I still see myself up I don't see myself down but I do sometimes think which is normal which is all human nature like Sometimes I think like, man, it's human nature for us to 
look at others and be like oh they're at this point with their views or they're at this point with their channel or they're at this point with their platform and I've been doing this and I've been doing that and half of the stuff I do is better than theirs or looks better than theirs or you know um sometimes I'm that person too where I look at certain things and I be like I've been doing this for how long and this person is getting this recognition or this person is getting this amount of views and everybody timing is different you know what I mean like I always you guys always ask me how do I have the confidence or how did I get to this place on my YouTube on, on my YouTube <laughs> on my YouTube like at reaching a hundred K and honestly it's just I feel like everybody life and everybody path is different you know like I can only speak for myself I literally just been myself this entire time didn't try to be nobody else still not try to be nobody else I love me I love being myself I love what comes with me um so the only thing I can say is is that I just always been myself you know what I'm saying and I feel like whatever is destined for you is destined for you whenever that time is you know everybody timing and everybody life is just completely different and that's something that we just have to accept and once we accept that I feel like everything else can flow um like I said I do sometimes still feel like okay even though so many people see me on this platform of having so many uh, so many followers or so much support sometimes I still think to myself like I can have more or I deserve more than what I'm getting or I deserve more acknowledgement or I just deserve to be seen more like there's it's always it's I don't know hopefully I'm making sense um but I am grateful for for my platform I am grateful from where I started and where I am now. I am grateful um, for everyone that is still supporting me, the ones that are, the ones that are still here. Because I'm definitely, I, I've definitely built my foundation of just being me, showing um, my creativity and what I love. And you guys have learned from me. You guys have been inspired by me and I love that you know what I mean so this makes me happy the more I can help others make me happy hopefully that makes sense I just feel like I just was just rambling but like I said yeah with my algorithm sometimes I do feel like oh you know it could be more but I feel like everything is flowing for me the way it's supposed to flow for lyric you know what I'm saying and Sometimes I do feel like it's unfair when, just being honest, very, very much transparent as I always be. Some Sometimes it's unfair when a, someone is getting more recognition than you when you're doing the same thing as them or probably more than them. Or I don't, I don't like to say better, but better than them. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like... There's not so many real people in the world, okay? There's not so many genuine people. I mean, there is, but at the same time, they're not. Okay, so whatever I'm attracting, I'm attracting real people. I'm attracting people that are aligned with me at this time of my in, at this time of my life. And if that is just a hundred people, then so it be. You know what I mean? But I'm happy within myself. And I'm happy with the people that are coming into my life. Because and following me, the new people that are following me. And the people that's been here with me. And um, I feel like a lot of people aren't used to change. A lot of people aren't used to transitioning into new layers of their self you know and I feel like that's what I'm doing I'm transitioning every day and it's a beautiful experience but um 
yeah hopefully i'm making sense hopefully you guys can understand it and i love every 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 i feel like i'm getting emotional i'm such an emotional person i thank everybody like that um still watches me why am i getting emotional i ask for this y'all ain't ask for this yeah i just thank all of my baby dolls that's been here um following my new channel dolphins diaries you guys comments are everything i have so such a strong like uh support system you know what i mean like y'all support is everything y'all comments i see them i try to get back to everybody as much as i can and y'all are just good like i could tell you know you could feel energy even through the train or even through you know me not meeting y'all in person but from the looks of it it's, it, I got good support you know what I'm saying so I thank all of y'all every day all the time I can I thank you guys so um that's it I'm not trying to ramble on too too much cause I ain't trying to you know boohoo cry and be all emotional today but I just wanted to say that before I end the video. I love you guys. I'll see you baby dolls in my next video. I'm about to take this hat off and this wig off, child. And be free with my natural hair. Hopefully later on today I'll feel better. And I can do my hair because it feels so good to be without this wig, baby. Oh my god, y'all. Yeah. I'm about to fix my hair today. Look at my head. So, I love y'all so much. I'm about to lay my head down and rest. Because, yeah. This sinus congestion can be a lot on me. I love y'all so, so much. And I'll see baby dolls in another video. Look at me. <laughs>